Madeline Carroll, the respected actress, left a lasting mark not just through her acting skills, but also due to a heartbreaking chapter in her life. Amidst the glamour of Hollywood, a tragic reality unfolded when her sister Marguerite became a victim of a London bombing raid. This devastating event led Madeline to briefly step away from the silver screen, revealing a depth of character beyond the roles she played. In a display of resilience and selflessness, she shifted from the spotlight to the front lines of World War II, serving as a Red Cross nurse in field hospitals. Her bravery went beyond the scripted heroics of her on-screen performances, earning her the Legion de Hanour in France. This real-life heroism highlighted not only her acting talent, but also her dedication to making a difference during a tumultuous period. The contrast between Madeleine Carroll, the Hollywood star, and the wartime nurse adds complexity to her story. Her life goes beyond the characters she portrayed, showcasing a woman of strength and dedication who navigated both glamorous and challenging aspects of life. Looking back, Madeleine Carroll's journey goes beyond her status as a leading actress. It underscores the profound impact individuals can have when faced with adversity, transcending the boundaries of the entertainment world. Her ability to seamlessly transition from Hollywood glamour to frontline service during a global conflict stands as a testament to her character and the indomitable spirit that defined her life. In conclusion, Madeline Carroll's story is not just a cinematic tale, but a deep exploration of human resilience and compassion in the face of tragedy. Her legacy continues to inspire those who recognize the profound depth of her contributions, both on screen and in the real world. Connie Francis, the accomplished actress, has an impressive filmography that continues to captivate audiences. Known for her versatility, she has made a significant impact on cinema. For those unfamiliar with her work, exploring her films provides insight into her varied talent. One Must Watch Movie is Where the Boys Are, a classic portrayal of youthful adventure and romance. This film showcases her acting skills and draws viewers into a lively world of sun-soaked escapades. Another noteworthy addition to her body of work is Follow the Boys, a wartime musical highlighting her captivating on-screen presence. The movie's dynamic energy and Francis's magnetic performance make it a timeless favorite. Additionally, Who's Sorry Now? offers a compelling display of her acting abilities, portraying the complexities of love and heartbreak with poignancy. For those seeking an introduction to Connie Francis's work, these standout films provide a captivating journey through her cinematic legacy. Whether exploring the sunny shores of Where the Boys Are or the wartime melodies of Follow the Boys, audiences are sure to be enthralled by her talent. Connie Francis, born in Newark, New Jersey, instead of her family's home in Brooklyn, had a big journey in showbiz. In 1958, she earned a million bucks and became favorite female singer, getting 5,000 fan letters every week. Some memorable moments include her great performance of Never on Sunday at the 1961 Academy Awards. But what many remember most is her moving rendition of God Bless America at a 1968 event for troops in Vietnam. Soldiers, many in tears, stood up to join her, showing how much her music touched them. In movies, she left a big mark. Where the boys are shows her talent in a fun romance story. Follow the boys, set in wartime, shows her magnetic presence on screen. Who's sorry now? Also shows her ability to show love and heartbreak in a real way. Connie Francis's career was more than just being popular. It showed with her strength and how well she connected with audiences. Her impact goes beyond the screen, leaving a lasting impression. Connie Francis had her film debut as Angie in Where the Boys Are, showcasing her acting talents. Prior to this, she had voice roles in films like Jamboree and Rock Rock Rock. This marked her first time appearing on screen. A memorable point in her career was when singer Alan Chase released a vinyl 45 record titled I'm in Love with Miss Connie Francis, highlighting her popularity. Interestingly, her father, an accordion player, influenced her musical journey. However, she later expressed regret over choosing accordion lessons instead of piano. Despite this, her musical skills were evident, especially in her moving rendition of God Bless America at a 1968 event for troops in Vietnam, deeply touching soldiers. Connie's impact goes beyond her on-screen performances, touching the hearts of audiences worldwide through her music and acting. Her journey in showbiz reflects her strength and ability to connect with people on a deep level. Through her talents, she continues to leave a lasting impression on fans, inspiring generations to come. 
Connie Francis, a well-known actress with an impressive list of movies, faced both the glamour of showbiz and personal struggles that added depth to her journey. Born in Newark, New Jersey, she entered the entertainment world, making a million dollars by 1958 and becoming incredibly popular with 5,000 fan letters arriving weekly. Apart from acting, she left a mark with her music. Influenced by her father, who played the accordion, her musical path was shaped early on. Although she wished she had taken piano lessons, she still showcased her talent with a moving performance of God Bless America at a 1968 event for troops in Vietnam, deeply touching the soldiers. While her big break came with her role in Where the Boys Are, her earlier voice roles in films like Jamboree and Rock 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 show would her versatility. An interesting detail is a vinyl record titled I'm in Love with Miss Connie Francis, showing her popularity and the love fans had for her. One memorable moment is her performance at the 1961 Academy Awards, where she sang Never on Sunday with emotion. However, it was her heartfelt rendition of God Bless America that left a lasting impression, uniting soldiers in Vietnam. Connie Francis's journey in showbiz is not just about fame, it reflects her strength and ability to connect with audiences. Her impact, both on screen and through her music, goes beyond entertainment, leaving a lasting influence that continues to inspire generations. Connie Francis kicked off her acting career in Where the Boys Are as Angie, marking her first movie role. This was a big moment that show would offer acting skills. The film also introduced Paula Prentice, and it got people talking about Connie's performance. Even though she was a bit unsure at first, Connie started singing in different languages after people loved her version of Mama on Perry Camo's Craft Music Hall. This move expanded her fan base and proved she could handle different styles. Although she was supposed to be in a movie called The Girl with a Definite, maybe in 1965, it never happened. Despite this, Connie Francis kept making a name for herself in the entertainment world through her acting and music. She made a lasting impression on audiences all over the world. Thanks to her talent and determination, she made her way into the history books of entertainment. In her early career, Connie Francis' show would offer many talents, from singing for Jane Mansfield in The Sheriff of Fractured Jaw to her film debut as Angie in Where the Boys Are. She's closely tied to Fort Lauderdale, which is clear in her role in the movie. It's interesting that three of her films have the boys in the title, like Follow the Boys and When the Boys Meet the Girls. This shows she can handle different stories. Connie's music was influenced by her dad, who played the accordion. Even though she wished she'd learned piano instead, she still wowed audiences like when she sang God Bless America for troops in Vietnam. Connie's story isn't just about fame. It's about how she connected with people through her work. From dubbing for Jane Mansfield to becoming a big movie star, her journey is all about connecting with fans. Connie Francis's work left a big impression on people going beyond just movies and music. Her journey shows how entertainment can bring people together. 